All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Let's just get on this. So, wh what's going on with us? I mean, or this Pizzagate. This is... <sighs> My whole thing is, I could almost understand a little bit waiting so long. So that you could get every single piece of trash that you could get. But at the same time, I mean... They're waiting so long and they've already had so much ability to hide this and all this. So, in any kind of factor, isn't there almost going to be people that you almost can't get or that you have to be softer on or that you have to sweep under the rug? I think that's why it's taking so long. I would like, I, I really hope that I'm wrong, but why is it taking so long? And in the same factor if you were doing anything illegal I cannot imagine it because me um, I don't like to do anything illegal but I would imagine if I was and in any way I ever even heard a rumor of people talking about it I'd be like damn I'm better if I can stop this shit nah. you would totally I mean as a human being that actually thinks about what life is and uh, repercussions and how things work. Um, that would be your first reaction. That's what you would do. But these people, they, like, know people are putting up videos, putting up actual real information. And even if they might not have the actual facts, they have, I mean, I don't care if the facts were 30%, 20%, 70%. You're still sitting there so arrogant that you're still just, yeah, whatever. Like, we're going to still keep doing this, keeping these rings going, da, da, da. And that shows how much they think they're above the law. You know what? You think you're above the law that much? Oh, that's fucking great, mate. Yes, uh, guess what? You're 1% of 1%. And you might have control, all this. But guess what? This technology that you gave us to dumb, down, dumb us down, um, we're using against you. You want to know why? Because God loves us. Hmm. Why does he love us? Because we are his children, and he does not expect us to be walked upon. And I'd like to tell everybody, you know, and all, especially all these people that are, like, wanting God to come and all that. Hey, I, I'd love to see God someday. And I'm uh, I'm sure one way or another, I'm going to see him. But my whole thing is, uh, you see where we're at? The, the, we're on mom's plane right now. We're, you're, you're plane of existence. You live on the mother's plane. And, you're supposed to respect your mother. Well, mm, we haven't really been respecting mommy too much, but what do we always know? When you made mommy mad, when daddy came home, what happened? Judgment was laid upon thee. So, now imagine this. Uh, Mother Earth, oh yeah, boom, think about it, that's your mother, she is, she's your, more your mother than your mother is your mother, just so you know, and if not, at least equivalent, no, nothing against mothers, I love my mother, both my mothers, because yes, they've both given me life, so, so for this being said, when you've walked upon your mother in this plane of existence that we've been given by God, and you have not been decent, nice, or treated her well, or her other children well, from mankind to, I mean, yeah, insects, eh, that's kind of a little far-fetched, but animals, plants, you know, whatever, and even insects, you, you, there were some, they mean some, but still, that you haven't treated the other children on mother's plane, 
and you've disrespected mother and made mother angry and hurt mother, which, oh, we all know we've hurt mother. Now, have we not? Yes, we have. Why do you think all those uh, uh, higher-ups that actually know what life and everything is that they're trying to hide from us, why do you think they want to try to live forever? Why do you think they're trying to make it so they can put their consciousness into a robot? Why do you think they're trying to make freaking pig hearts? Why do you think they're trying to literally can bind animals with humans so that they can make... Think about it. You need a liver? Boom. There's your liver. Boom. You need a heart? Boom. Here you go. Boom, 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 boom. Nobody can say, hey, I'm like creating a human and harvesting their organs as an animal. You got to understand what these people are doing. And I would imagine, I don't know the whole big picture, but yeah. uh, I don't know the whole freaking picture for the most part, but when it really comes down to it, uh, they know where they're going and they ain't happy about it. They ain't happy about it at all. Yes, they know they've been pieces of shit. They're going to a really, really bad fucking place. Pardon my French. Um, my whole thing is, uh, if you're just a human being and you're a good person and you've been a good person, whether uh, you're here for, a, you're just a child of light, you're just here, you're whatever, but you've been a good person, whether you've come to believe in God or not, which I hope you have, Usually everybody should have their chance. It took me 30 years. So I, I can't blame anybody that hasn't found it yet. But one way or another, you're just going to be recycled. Like you've been probably done many upon many a times before. So appreciate why you're here. Because we're all here for a reason. And more than one for the most part. And... uh uh, just look, everybody keeps wanting to call daddy home, but one thing I say, hey, you remember uh, when you were a little kid, if you had a dad, I wasn't really lucky enough to have that, but I know most people were, well, some people were, uh, daddy came home and you were bad, and what happened? You got your ass kicked, you got an ass whooping, so all you people that are looking forward to God coming back, you better realize uh, your ass is gonna be in the fucking fire for whatever, uh, amounts of shit that you've done. Because you all know you've done some shit. So, uh, me, I kind of just shrug my shoulders off because God gave me everything that I've needed, I would like to say. And I appreciate him for it. And, um, I know I've gone against him and I, I deserve to burn in the pits of hell. And whether he decides to have me do that or not, I, I don't know. But still... I've always just been a good person, be a good person, even before I believed in his word. So, we'll see what his judgment is for me. And, uh, just want to tell all you, stop hoping for daddy to get home to fucking whoop your ass. Just, <laughs> think about that. Just a little bit. If you really go back into your Bible, look at it. He ain't gonna come back and be nice. And just so you know, he's not going to come back and beam you up in a beam of freaking light. I want to tell you this. He's going to come back and his wrath, everything is going to go to crap. And if you didn't save enough supplies and have the way to take care of you and your family and make it and ride through the storm, you're not going to be saved. Because that's what he expects of you. He's not just going to save you because you are a good person. He will save a lot of people even if they weren't a good person because they rode through the storm and they were decent and good people, I'm sure, maybe. But seriously, just being a good person ain't going to help you. So you better figure it out. I know I'm just a good person, just be a good person. I won't save as many people as I uh, can that I love. I expect nothing of my soul. I don't even expect anything from him. I'm just trying to save as many of the souls of the people that I love. No more, no less. Well, God be with you. Love be with you that has love.